Readings Broadway babies. Um, I never thought I would make a video like this. Never in my wildest dreams. And if it's not good, I'm not gonna post it. So, uh, <laughs> must be good. <laughs> it's December 20th, as of the time I'm filming this. And I got sent some swag today. Do they still call it swag? I don't even know. I'm an elder millennial. I'm a thousand years old. I got sent merch. I got sent something. Let me tell you what happened. So, if you're new to my channel, I'm a musical theater historian. I make videos about musical theater and Broadway history. And I'm very vocal on Twitter about my love for kind of golden age musicals. And a few weeks ago, um, The Sound of Music emailed me. Not, not the Von Trapps, but like the movie. The movie, The Sound of Music. Their official Twitter handle messaged me and said, we want to send you some of our favorite things for the holidays. Now, The Sound of Music is one of those movie musicals that isn't really about Christmas, but it gets shown a lot around the holidays, especially on kind of national networks that anyone could watch. Just like The Wizard of Oz, it's just one of those movie musicals that everyone has seen. And even people who don't like musicals love The Sound of Music. I talk about that in my Rodgers and Hammerstein uh, history lesson video, which you should check out. But yeah, I love Rodgers and Hammerstein. I talk about them a lot. Um, and so The Sound of Music um, sent me something. They sent me a package. I shouldn't show you guys my address. That wouldn't be good. Now, The Sound of Music was on TV last night. And I got this package this morning. So I don't know if I was supposed to get it the day that it was on TV or what. Never in my life did I ever think we would be here, but we're gonna do an unboxing of Sound of Music swag. Cool. All right, kids, here we go. Okay, all right. We got us, we got us a tote bag, baby. Let's see. Oh, oh wait, hold on now. There's, there's a few, hold on. There's, there's something here. I don't want to see what it is. I'm gonna throw it in there. And there's a, there's a card. Oh, there's my name. But yeah, there's this bag, the little tote bag. <laughs> These are a few of my favorite things. Again, this song became a Christmas song for some reason because it's about stuff. So um, I'm gonna look at this in a second, but let's let's open the card, huh? Oh my God. I can already see through it that it's from Concord Theatricals. <laughs> Concord Theatricals used to be uh, Rodgers and Hammerstein. They're basically a, a licensing company. Rodgers and Hammerstein were really smart. They didn't just write musicals, they were producers. So they have this whole licensing company like um, Musical Theater International. So, um, hey Concord, I just uh, I just requested the rights for your good man Charlie Brown for the local high school production I'm directing. Uh, you guys were very helpful, thank you. Okay, it says, we hope this gift brings your heart to the hills this holiday season. Thank you for being a fan of The Sound of Music. Happy holidays. Best, the Rogers and Hammerstein team. Oh my God, I'm the worst. <laughs> okay, all right. So let's see what's in the um, the favorite things. There's gotta be raindrops on roses, right? Brown paper packages. Let's see. Ooh, <laughs> it looks like a bag of like huga almost. <laughs> oh, stop! Look, it's a little cutting board. There, there's raindrops on roses. There's no whiskers on kittens. There's snowflakes, there's brown paper packages, warm woolen mittens, bright copper kettles. That's great, those are, those are a few of my favorite things. Thank you, uh, thank you for that. <laughs> I hope this isn't underwhelming. Ooh, snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes. It's comfy socks. Rogers and Hammerstein sent me comfy socks. Thank you. You know, I'm a big fan of the Hammerstein glide. You know, um, Irish goodbyes, you know, where you leave a party and you don't tell anyone that you're going. Well, Hammerstein used to do that. He loved to leave parties early, but um, they would call it the Hammerstein glide. So uh, I can use those. I can use those to Hammerstein glide out of a party this holiday season. Oh, cookie cutters. Okay, we've got a cat. It's not the whiskers on kittens. It's the full cat. So I'm down with that. Oh good, they, they scraped off the price tag. That's considerate. I actually, I always do that when I give gifts. You don't wanna see the price tag. But there's a snowflake and a little mitten. That's very cute. I don't really, I don't really make cookies, but these will be really decorative. Ooh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> these are coasters. I have confidence in sunshine. I live in California, so I do have confidence in sunshine. Although it's gonna be kind of a rainy, gloomy Christmas. So, um, I have confidence and Something Good were both written after Hammerstein's death because uh, Edelweiss was the last song he ever wrote. He got sick with stomach cancer 
um, while writing The Sound of Music. He never saw the film. The film happened after his death. And so they needed a couple new songs. So Richard Rogers um, dipped his toe in the lyricism pool for the first time, and he wrote I Have Confidence. Um, and something good on his own. Pretty impressive. Okay, we got a keychain, baby. <laughs> Look, I love a good keychain. It's just a Sound of Music keychain. Hey, this is a free bag of swag, baby. A sticker, a sticker. I could put that in my classroom. My students really love the Sound of Music. I think I'll do Do Re Mi or something with them. Oh, with my younger ones this semester. I'm telling you, everyone loves the Sound of Music. Okay, and then, oh, a journal. Ah. Climb every mountain, ford every stream, follow every rainbow, till you find your dream. You're welcome. Sometimes I can hit high notes. It's because I'm on winter break. See a little travel journal. So when I go to the Swiss Alps, um, I can write about it. So thank you. Thank you, Concord Theatricals and the Rogers and Hammerstein team. I love you guys. <laughs> These are a few of my favorite things. I, I'm very happy about this. I, I, I'm, I'm pleased. I don't know what else I can say. I think this was a successful unboxing. Did you know that Marnie Nixon was one of the nuns in The Sound of Music, like one of the actual nuns? I just gave my mom a Marnie Nixon <laughs> signed autograph with pictures of her for her birthday. My mom and I are, the, are obsessed with Marnie Nixon. She's the singing voice of Deborah Carr in The King and I, Natalie Wood in West Side Story, and Audrey Hepburn in My Fair Lady. She's got a very distinct voice. She's even the singing, okay, in, you know in Mulan, there's the little grandma, and and she's like, an apple for serenity, a, a pendant for balance, and then she starts singing, and she's got this great enunciation where she's like, beads of jade for beauty. That was Marnie Nixon. But anyway, Marnie Nixon's, her voice was usually on screen, but in The Sound of Music, she's actually one of the nuns. And you can kind of tell, like when they're singing, how do you solve a problem like Maria, all of a sudden it's like, wow, that sounds like, that sounds like Maria from West Side Story. But yeah, this is great. Thank you, Sound of Music. Thank you, um, Concord Theatricals and the Rogers and Hammerstein team. Did my other musical theater YouTubers get one of these? Um, I hope you did, cause I'm, I'm gonna use these like crazy this holiday season. Woohoo! The Sound of Music is for the holiday times. Right? Of course right. That's a different musical. I hope you enjoyed this little bonus. <laughs> I don't know. It's winter break. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I hope we all have a happy, safe new year. Maybe I'll make, make another video soon. I don't know. This is a little bonus for y'all. Just gonna Hammerstein glide out of here with, with my swag. My Psalm swag. <laughs>